Logistics company Supergroup has been through a tough few years. It acquired, it required a two shareholder bailout in the late 2000s and also lost a lot of money when a deal went sour in Angola. However, it seems that the chief executive, that's Peter Mountford, who took over after the Angola mess, has been slowly turning the business around. But joining us again in Cape Town to discuss the outlook for Supergroup is the Finweek contributor, Mushima Gama. Mushima, thanks for joining us. Looking at Supergroup, over the past 18 months, they've been uh, quite busy in terms of deal making, making acquisitions. Where exactly have they been expanding? Um, thanks, Tamisha. Well, look, the strategy for the past five years has been to get meaningful or rather selective and niche acquisitions um, to enhance certain divisions within the company. And seemingly, the um, supply chain, the, um, the dealership, and the um, the fleet management side are the most profitable divisions, so they're trying to beef up um, profits there. So the most recent acquisition would be with um, In Time, which is a German company. Um, they have operations in Germany, um, Czech Czechoslovakia, Poland, and so forth. Now the reason why they chose this or they went for this acquisition is because they have a software that, or a dispatch software that um, enhances or rather optimizes their delivery time on automotives. So it just made, they want to better that part of the company. So it just made sense to actually have that marriage or acquisition. There's also one with Australia, NCL, but the one that seems to be have, that's having more airtime is this um, in time acquisition. The African logistics business, and this doesn't include South Africa, so it's all the other businesses outside of South African borders, have been struggling. There have been a couple of companies uh, who have been in the same boat. What are some of the factors that have been at play here? Look, to me, um, Supergroup is in a very competitive space in, uh, when it comes to uh, at least winning meaningful deals. And there are other um, established South African companies that are also expanding into the rest of Africa. And they're finding that competition a bit hard because it's eroding some of the, the, the um, margins. Um, besides that, there's also other country dynamics like border inefficiencies, political and um, labor unrest. But I think the biggest knock that they've experienced, which depressed the, um, the Africa division or the divi um, that side of the company, would be that 11% um, reduction in transportation rates in some of the countries that they invested in. So um, that took a knocking. It doesn't. They haven't really. Um, they haven't lost hope in getting into expanding into Africa. But um, I, see, I suppose it's. They're learning from these type of experiences. If we take a look at the share price, it's been pretty flat. Uh, back in 2007, it was pretty much the heydays for them. What is the uh, outlook for this particular company in terms of share price performance, Mushima? Um, so they've kind of come off a very low base. They it plummeted in 2000 and, um, 2007 towards 2009. So they, from 2009, it started. It, it's, it really started recovering its um, its losses. Um, so for the p better part of this year, it's been on a downward channel, consolidating. But it looks like it actually just wants to break out of that channel, but that would be seen above uh, at least the 36 levels. And from there onwards, we could see it recover most of its losses um, to about those 76 Rand mark. Um, those are levels that it passed, it, um, it reached previously. So it's looking positive um, from a downward channel that's been lost, that's lost for a year. So this breakout would be quite significant. And above 36, I would really feel it's a good short, medium, and long term um, investment. So I would definitely, I do see a lot of upside potential um, in the long term for at least another three years or so. Mushima, thanks so much uh, for giving us your insight, as always, uh, giving us to us in a short period of time a lot that we got in there. Mushima Gama, Finweek contributor. Now let's take a look at this week's cover story.